So I know this is the Kleiser rearrangement, but I've put up the Corp rearrangement as from before if you've seen the Corp rearrangement tutorial. And that's because the Kleiser and the Corp rearrangements are very, very similar. So that's the Corp rearrangement. I'm just going to draw you now the Kleiser rearrangement. So it's Kleiser. Okay, so the Kleisen, we start off with an ether, an allyl ether. So as you can see, looks very similar. And that will go to give this ketone here, keeping this all six. Um, carbons are same. So that goes to give uh, this ketone. And if we label these in as one, two, still a three, three sigmatropic shift, but I'm going to label it differently this time. Three, four, five. So if you have a double bond which is um, one, two, three carbons away from a, a carbonyl and it's, it's a double bond like in the 4-5 position then you can actually think about in a retrosynthetic point of view making it from a Kleisen I've called it Kleisen, Kleisen rearrangement okay and I'll just run through the mechanism again as you can see it's very very similar to the Corp rearrangement So what we have here this time is these electrons migrating here, these go here, and these go here. Okay. And a way to look at this when you're not sure which way it goes is to draw the resonance form. I draw the resonance form for that. It looks like this. Okay, so this is a good exercise in itself. I haven't got stuck, honest. But we draw the resonance form for this. You see that's positive now, and that's negative. Okay, so there is a direction to which the electrons will, will move. And obviously if this is more electron rich, on the 2 position than on the 1 position then the electrons should be moving in this direction because there is no way of them going in that direction so the true um, direction should be like this yeah and then that effectively goes back to the so if I get rid of these electrons because that's effectively what we're doing we get our get back to our six membered ring I'll draw another one here oops get back to our transition state Six electrons, which then collapses to give our product here, just like this. So hopefully, in that little bit of confusion I had then, um, which I shouldn't have been confused about, uh, but it does happen now and again. You can see uh, just by drawing the resonance structure for that species without it cyclizing you can see which parts of the molecule are electron rich or electron deficient and so show which direction the electrons will actually move around uh, in in the transition step and that is a Kleisen rearrangement